In the last video, we have seen how we can play around with some labels, so which just simply are text, and how we can simulate that on our iPhone. So we can just uh, open up our test app and there, oh, actually, yeah, it's not the right one. Uh, and we, can, we saw how we can run that on our iPhone, as example, on our iPhone simulation or simulator, better said. So in this video, we're going to add buttons and we're going, going to make this label here do something. So for now, it just doesn't do anything, but let's just add some buttons. And you can see we can position them depending on uh, some other uh, aspects here, like the silly button, as example. And I can, what do I want? I want to simply add, so I want to add four buttons or maybe five buttons. Let's do it. Let's make it five buttons because this will be a silly button app. <laughs> and let's get to the corner here, same here, and make this app. Actually, I will create a copy of that button here. I want to have the same sizes and I can do that by pressing Command D in order to duplicate or Command C and V or Command C and then Command V in order to uh, copy and paste. Then I do the same again, Command D and I put it at the bottom here and again button and I put it at the bottom over here. So now these buttons uh, will do something. They will do, uh, they will just change the value that this label has. For now, they, they cannot do anything because they're simply stupid buttons without any code behind it, without any functionality. And what I want them to, to be, or what I want them to do is to change colors. So for now, the text is button and I want this button to be to have an empty text but a background color and I can get that by scrolling down and going to view and change here the background color to being let's say what do we want let's go with these magenta blue brown colors so that one will be magenta that button here I have to click on it, then go to, to the background, change it to orange. And this one also has no text. And the same with that one, no text. And if we go down, change the background color to this cyan blue. And then the last one, ah, no text, and change the color to the green. That's all right. So there you have it. Maybe we should make the buttons a bit bigger. So now you see if I change the size of this button, I can play around here and can see, okay, it's 100 wide and 100 high. And that one I can do, or the same thing I can do in uh, in hard code. So here you can see the width is 61. I can just change it to 100 I have to reposition it. Okay. And then I can change the height to 100 as well. So there you have it. It's the same size as that button and the Y value is the same. So they are perfectly in the same height. Then I can do the same with that one, 100, 100 and reposition it perfectly and this one as well. So position them perfectly. Maybe we can put them closer together. So now they are roughly the same distance to the label. We can do that by hard code as well. We can, we can make that have them the same distance as those two buttons or those two buttons having the same distance to the label. Um, I will show you that later and then maybe in another application. But for now, let's just see what we can do if we run this application. So there we have it, silly button app, and I click on the colors and nothing happens. 
So what the hell is going on? Why is there nothing happening? That's very simple. That's because they don't have any functionality. And how do we get a functionality to the button? We can do that by uh, using code. So let's get into that. I get rid of that array here. So the structure layout here on the left hand side. And then I click this button on the top right hand side, show the assistant editor. There I can see that suddenly I have two areas open here. So I have the, the code of my class view controller. It was chosen automatically. If it hasn't been chosen automatically, you can choose it here by going to recent files and then choose view controller.swift. Then you get here. As you can see, there is some code already. It has been automatically added. We can leave it or we can uh, delete it, but for now it's okay to, we, if we just leave it. Then we can copy that button over, or not copy, but by pressing Control and then dragging it over here, I can create an outlet. So the outlet should, I can choose here which kind of connection it should be, and I choose action because I want an action to happen when that button is pressed. And I can give it a name, I, I call it purple because I'm, I'm a man, I don't know the difference between magenta, purple, all of this stuff. I'm good with purple. Then the touch, I can choose which event should happen. So somebody touched down, somebody uh, touch dragged, entered. So somebody dragged and then dragged from here and entered the button, then something should happen. But I'm fine with touch up inside. So somebody touched it and then it was, uh, the touch was left. Um, Oh, the, the touch was stopped pretty much. So that's what the this touch up inside does. And I click on connect. And what should happen if the purple button is pressed, then I want for now, let's just go ahead and say uh, print. And I just say purple button has been pressed or tapped. So let's just check that out. Let's just try if that works. So there I have my app, I click the purple button and here you can see purple button has been tapped. So that was our first interaction with our application. It's a very, very simple one, but we will get into a little bit cooler stuff. Now we need to, um, to get something happen. We want to, something to happen when somebody presses the button. So we want the label here to change value. So the cha the value should be a number. So just simply a number. And if I want to access this label here, I can again drag it over and insert an outlet. In this case, it's not an action; it's an outlet only. And I give it the uh, I give it the name. I call it numbers label. Then I click connect and you can see here we have a numbers label created. And if I just want to change the value of this numbers label, if somebody has tapped on it, I can do the following. I can say numbers label dot text equals. And there I say, for now, let's just say hello or or being tapped. Okay, for now the text will just be tapped. So let's check that out. So you can see the label is called label. I click on it and you see tapped. It has been changed to tapped. So I want it to be a number. So let's create a variable that we can use. Um, I have not gone into all of this, uh, what the variable is and all of this, this stuff. So for now it's really just for you to get a little bit of excitement about what you're going to do and how uh, how simple it can be to create simple apps. And um, in the next chapter, we will look into what a var is, what all of this stuff is. But for now, just see this as being a variable which can hold values. And this valuable variable should be our label number. And it has a value of zero. So for now, it's zero. And I want the, the number to change. So as soon as 
a button has been pressed so let's say my purple button has been pressed I want the number to uh, to be increased by 10 so I say table number plus 10 okay and then I want to change the value of, our, of my label I want to change it to the value of the label number and I can do that by doing this here label number so just follow along for now I will explain what that does in the next chapter but for now just to see what happens here so let's play around and let's see what happens if I press the purple button now okay we see it has it has been increased to 10 it has been increased to 20 30 40 and so on I can press here forever so now a little challenge change the application by the same procedure that we've uh, that I've done here to uh, for the purple uh, for the orange button to increase the number by or multiply the number with three the number of the the label number here that we have here increase it with um, multiply it with three if the blue button is being pressed uh, has been pressed change the value divided by two and if the green button has been pressed then just add one to the number okay so pause the video try to do uh, use the same procedure that I have used the same kind of stuff just you can pretty much um, just drag down here or drag it like this um, with con the control button down here and then add the add the stuff that we that I've added here but slightly differently so uh, just the only thing that you will have to change is pretty much the, the text that is here purple button has been tapped and the label number the calculation that is done here so just pause the video and try it yourself okay I hope you tried to do it yourself now I will show you how I do it or one of the possibilities of how to do it so I can uh, I copy or I drag that one over here the orange button and I call it orange button and it's important to change it to an action here then I click I connect and I simply copy that code from here I make it I make it really easy for myself and I change the name from purple button to orange button and the thing that happens here is multiply by three then the same with that blue button here i copy it over or I drag it over and ch change it to action I call it blue button even though i know that it's not blue it's cyan or something click off click connect here i paste it as well blue button has been tapped and here I said divided by two I think then the last button here I copy it over as well or drag it over as well and I call it green button connected and I enter the same code in here so green button has been tapped and the number is increased by simply one so that's it let's run it and we have our silly button app we have the label just being label so let's play around with it oh and there we can see we can depending on what we press oh there we can increase the number by a lot and then we can just increase it by 10 we can increase it by one and then we can half it and half and half and half and so on until we get a low a smaller number again so there we have it our silly button app is pretty much done and um yeah that's where we are going gonna go from here so this is really the, the very beginning the first application that we have created it doesn't do much but it has shown us how the general idea of buttons work how we can customize our look or the look of our application a little bit 
and how we can use code in order to change what our uh, what is shown on our application so i hope that wasn't too complex and uh, we will get into that stuff much much deeper in the next section so if you have done your the challenge you by yourself and just created the stuff yourself i'm really proud of you that's a good start because it's really important to try and program yourself and code yourself and uh, try all the stuff that all the challenges that, uh, just that i give you by yourself otherwise you will not learn as much so uh, good job there and uh, see you in the next video